just in and so good. Thousands of new fall deals have arrived at Nordstrom Rack stores, and that means thousands of fresh reasons to rack. Because fall equals sweaters. Why do I rack? Because check out these boots. Because there's always something new. Save big with up to 60% off Vince, Steve Madden, Kurt Geiger London, Theory, and more. Great brands, great prices. That's why you rack. When you need mealtime inspiration, it's worth shopping Fred Meyer for thousands of appetizing ingredients that inspire countless mouth-watering meals. And no matter what tasty choice you make, you'll enjoy our everyday low prices, plus extra ways to save, like digital coupons worth over $600 each week and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump with points. So you can get big flavors and big savings. Fred Meyer, fresh for everyone. Fuel restrictions apply. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Halloween Podcast. I am your host, Lyle Perez. Today is September 15th, 2024, and we are four days into our Haunted America series where we are taking a road trip across America and stopping at 10 different haunted locations from each state. We've already covered states like Alabama and Arizona, and today we're stopping at our last A state as we take a look at the natural state of... Arkansas. Known for its stunning mountains, dense forests, and rich history, Arkansas also hides some dark and eerie secrets. From haunted hotels to eerie battlefields, this state is filled with stories of the supernatural. So grab your ghost hunting gear and join me as we explore 10 of the most haunted locations in Arkansas. Our first stop is the famous Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs. Often dubbed America's Most Haunted Hotel, built in 1886, this grand hotel has a long and storied history, including a dark period in the 1930s when it was used as a hospital by a fraudulent doctor named Norman Baker. Baker claimed that he can cure cancer, but instead, many patients met their end within the hotel walls. Today, the Crescent Hotel is a hotspot for paranormal activity. One of the most famous spirits is Michael, a stonemason who supposedly fell to his death during the hotel's construction. Guests and staff have reported seeing his apparition near room 218, one of the most haunted rooms in the hotel. Michael is known for being a bit mischievous. He enjoys playing tricks on guests by moving their belongings or knocking on doors and then disappearing. Some have even woken up to see him standing at the foot of their bed, his ghostly figure fading away as they stare in shock. But Michael isn't the only ghost at the Crescent. A former nurse dressed in white has been seen pushing a gurney down the hallways of the third floor where Baker's hospital operated. Guests have reported hearing her soft footsteps echoing in the corridors late at night, accompanied by a faint squeak of a gurney wheel. Another spirit is that of Theodora, a patient of Baker's who reportedly died during one of his treatments. She's known for politely introducing herself to guests before vanishing, leaving behind only a cold spot where she once stood. The hotel is open to guests and ghost tours are often for those brave enough to explore its haunted past. Next, we visit the Allen House in Monticello, a beautiful Victorian mansion with dark secrets. Built in 1906 by Joe Lee Allen, the house became infamous in 1948 when Joe Lee's daughter, Liddell, took her own life by drinking cyanide in one of the upstairs rooms. For years, the house remained empty, with locals whispering about the tragedy that once occurred. The Allen House is said to be haunted by Liddell's spirit. 
Visitors have reported seeing her ghostly figure in the windows, often dressed in a flowing white gown as she gazed out on the streets below. Inside the house, Liddell's presence is even more intense. People have heard her soft voice calling their names, felt an icy breeze pass by them in a warm room, even smelled the faint scent of her favorite perfume lingering in the air. Some who have dared to stay overnight have reported terrifying dreams, where they relived the moments leading to Liddell's death, waking up in cold sweats with a taste of something bitter in their mouths. The current owners have embraced the house's haunted reputation, offering tours during Halloween season, where visitors can learn about the house's history and the spirits that linger there. Our next stop is the Old Arsenal in Little Rock, now part of the MacArthur Museum of Arkansas's military history. This historic building dates back to 1840 and played a significant role in the Civil War. It's one of the oldest surviving structures in the city and has been the site of many paranormal encounters. Visitors to the Old Arsenal have reported seeing the ghosts of a Confederate soldier patrolling the grounds, perhaps still standing ground over his spot. This spectral soldier is often seen in full uniform, appearing so real that some have mistaken him for a reenactor until he vanishes before their eyes. Inside the building, shadowy figures have been seen moving through the hallways, and some have heard the sound of gunfire and marching feet, as if the echoes of past battles are still vibrating through time. One chilling report comes from a visitor who felt a hand grip their shoulder, only to turn around and find no one there. The museum is open to the public, and those interested in history and the paranormal can explore the grounds and exhibits, where the past seems closer than ever. In Van Buren, we find the historic King Opera House, a charming theater built in the late 19th century. But beneath its beautiful facade lies a tale of unrequited love and tragedy. The story goes that in the early 1900s, a young actor named William Willie Young fell in love with a local girl. However, her father disapproved of the relationship and ended up beating Willie to death. Willie's spirit is said to haunt the King Opera House to this day. His ghost has been seen on stage dressed in his period costume, often rehearsing lines that only he can hear. He's also been spotted in the balcony, staring out at the audience that no longer exists. Those who have encountered Willie describe feeling an overwhelming sense of sadness, as if his spirit is still searching for the love he was denied in life. Some have even heard his voice reciting Shakespeare lines, the words echoing through the empty theater. The Opera House is still used for performances, and theater goers have occasionally reported feeling a cold chill or seeing a shadowy figure out of the corner of their eye. If you're lucky, or perhaps unlucky, you might catch a glimpse of Willie during your next visit. Next on our list, we are going to Little Rock. The Arkansas State Capitol in Little Rock is more than just the seat of government. It's also said to be haunted by spirits from the past. Completed in 1915, the Capitol has been the site of many important events, but it's the ghostly encounters that have intrigued visitors and staff alike. One of the most well-known spirits is that of a former custodian who worked in the building during the early 20th century but he is often seen in the basement, carrying out his duties as if he's still on the job. Staff members have reported hearing the sound of his broom sweeping the floor, only to find the area completely empty. Another frequently spotted ghost is that of a young woman dressed in early 1900s attire. She's been seen wandering the hallways, her footsteps echoing through the marble corridors and some have reported hearing her sobbing late at night. 
The Capitol is open to the public for tours, and those interested in the paranormal might want to keep an eye out for those ghostly figures. Our next haunted location is the Peel Mansion in Bentonville. Built in 1875 by Colonel Samuel West Peel, this beautiful mansion is now a museum, but it's also home to several spirits. The most famous ghost is that of Colonel Peel himself, who has been seen in various rooms of the house, often appearing as a distinguished gentleman in a suit. Visitors have reported feeling an icy chill when Colonel Peel is near, as if the temperature drops several degrees in his presence. He's known to appear suddenly, his stern face watching over guests before he silently vanishes. Another spirit is that of a young girl believed to be one of Peel's daughters. She's been spotted playing in the gardens and on the staircase, her laughter echoing through the halls. Some guests have reported seeing her running through the house, her ghostly figure passing through walls as she goes. Visitors have also reported hearing piano music playing when no one is in the room, as well as seeing objects move on their own. The Peel Mansion is open for tours where guests can learn about the house's history and maybe even have a ghostly... Good taste is easy to spot, but hard to pin down. You know it when you see it. And in today's culture, there's no greater signifier of taste than the car you drive. You want something sophisticated, but not stodgy. Daring, yet classic. Approachable, but with an air of opulence. It may sound like a rare find, because it is. And... It perfectly describes the Range Rover Evoque. Drive a statement piece with pure presence. The Evoque is charisma in motion. This luxury SUV is artfully crafted and designed to stand out, and the reductive exterior is an elegant expression of Range Rover DNA. With clean lines, the minimalist design speaks for itself. The chisel taillights give it a sense of motion. Even at standstill, you'll find quality materials and solid craftsmanship at every turn. And you can curate your interior with a variety of distinct themes and trim finishes. It's an elevated drive for elevated lives. Explore the Range Rover Evoque at LandRoverUSA.com. Saving for a lifetime? Investing for the first time? Becoming debt-free? You can do anything you put your money to. Learn how to make your money work harder with money, career, and investing tips in our Women Talk Money community. Plus, get in on free events and candid convos. Join today at Fidelity.com slash Women Talk Money. Investing involves risk, including risk of loss. Fidelity Brokerage Services, member NYSE SIPC. You're on with Xfinity. How can we help? Hi, can my phone keep up when I travel for work? Yep, with Xfinity Mobile, you get Wi-Fi speeds up to a gig on the go. So I can, um, work on my phone by the beach? Your secret's safe with me. Switch and save with Xfinity Mobile. Now through January 10th, Xfinity Internet customers can buy one unlimited line and get one free for a year. Visit XfinityMobile.com to learn more. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Xfinity Internet and two new unlimited lines required. Reduce speeds after 30 gigabytes of usage per line. Data thresholds may vary. Actual Wi-Fi speeds vary, not guaranteed. Looking for toys that'll get the biggest reactions? Yes, please. Walmart has jaw-dropping toys like For Real Daisy Yoga Goat. Awesome. Razor Crazy Cart Shuffle. Whoa. Hot Wheels, Bluey 3-in-1 Airplane Playset, and more. Aren't you going to say cool? I'm saving it for the holidays. Smart. Welcome to your Walmart. Encounter. Next, we travel to Fayetteville. Fayetteville's Confederate Cemetery is a solemn and eerie place, resting on a hill that overlooks the city. Established in 1873, the cemetery is the final resting place for many Confederate soldiers who died in the Battle of Prairie Grove and other skirmishes during the Civil War. Visitors to the cemetery have reported seeing ghostly figures in Confederate uniforms wandering among the graves. Those soldiers seem to be standing guard, forever bound to the place where they were laid to rest. Some have witnessed full-body apparitions, their spectral forms illuminated by the moonlight before they fade into the mist. 
Others have reported sounds of muffled voices, as if the soldiers are still communicating with one another, perhaps discussing their final battle plans. The cemetery is open to the public, and it's a peaceful yet haunting spot where history and the supernatural come together. Next, we're on our way to Gurdon. One of Arkansas's most famous ghostly phenomenon is the Gurdon Light, a mysterious glowing orb that appears along the railroad tracks near Gurdon. The legend of the Gurdon Light dates back to the 1930s, when a railroad worker was reportedly murdered along the tracks. It's said that the light is the ghost of the worker, carrying a lantern as he searches for his head. The light has been seen by countless witnesses over the years, and despite scientific attempts to explain it, no one has been able to determine its true nature. Some describe it as a flowing blue or white light that moves along the tracks, disappearing and reappearing at will. Those who have ventured out to see the Gurdon light have reported hearing strange noises, like the distant clanging of metal, or the sound of footsteps crushing on gravel, even when they're alone. Some have felt an intense chill in the air, as if something or someone is watching them. The Gurdon light is visible on certain nights, and many curious visitors have ventured out to see it for themselves. But remember to tread carefully. This is one ghostly encounter that might leave you with more questions than answers. The Empress of Little Rock, a beautiful, restored Victorian mansion, is now a luxury bed and breakfast, but it's also known as one of the most haunted places in Arkansas. Built in 1888, the mansion was once the home of a prominent businessman and has since been the site of numerous paranormal encounters. Guests at the Empress have reported seeing the ghost of a woman in a long gown, believed to be the wife of the original owner. She's often seen in the hallways and in the guest rooms, sometimes appearing at the foot of the bed. Those who have encountered her describe feeling a sudden drop in temperature accompanied by the smell of roses, her favorite flower. She's known to silently watch over guests, disappearing the moment they try to speak to her. Other ghostly occurrences include doors opening and closing on their own, lights flickering, and the sound of footsteps on the wooden floors when no one is there. Some guests have even reported waking up to the sound of a soft lullaby being sung, only to find their room empty. The Empress is open to guests, offering a chance to experience both luxury and a brush with the supernatural. Our final stop is the old Malco Theater in Hot Springs, a historic theater that has been entertaining audiences since the 1940s. Over the years, the theater has become known for its ghostly activity, with numerous reports of strange occurrences. One of the most famous spirits is that of a former projectionist who is said to haunt the projection room. His presence is often felt by staff and visitors alike, with reports of the projection turning on by itself and the sound of film reels spinning when no one is around. Some have seen his shadowy figure watching from the projection booth, his eyes following them as they move through the theater. Another ghost is that of a young woman who has been seen sitting in the theater's seats, watching an unseen performance. She's often described as wearing a bright red dress. Her face turns towards the stage with a wistful expression. The old Malco Theater is still in use today, and visitors who attend a show might have an encounter with one of its ghostly patrons. And that's it, guys. That does Arkansas. I hope you guys had fun as we looked at all of these really cool haunted places that Arkansas had to offer. 
If you're enjoying this series, please hit that subscribe button on either Apple Podcasts or Spotify, wherever you're listening to. And while you're hitting that subscribe button, go ahead and leave us a five star review there. They really do help. Uh, they, they help the show. So that, that's all I can say. So if you're enjoying it, five star review, I'd appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, or want to suggest anything for a future show, please send me an email to HalloweenPodcast at gmail.com. If you'd like to get some Halloween Podcast merch, make sure you go to TheHalloweenPodcast.com. we got a merch store there. You'll be able to buy a lot of cool Halloween Podcast items. All sales go to help with production costs, so you'll get a little something. The Halloween Podcast will get a little bit of something, and the show will continue as, uh, as we all hope it would go. And we can't forget about the Facebook page, facebook.com slash the Halloween podcast. A lot of cool stuff that I post on there all the time. So if you want to interact with me or anybody else from the Halloween podcast community, make sure you go to our Facebook page. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for this episode. I will see you guys again tomorrow for uh, I'm not sure which state it is, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. I'll see you guys then. Have a good night. Good taste is easy to spot, but hard to pin down. You know it when you see it. And in today's culture, there's no greater signifier of taste than the car you drive. You want something sophisticated, but not stodgy. Daring, yet classic. Approachable, but with an air of opulence. It may sound like a rare find, because it is. And it perfectly describes the Range Rover Evoque. Drive a statement piece with pure presence. The Evoque is charisma in motion. This luxury SUV is artfully crafted and designed to stand out, and the reductive exterior is an elegant expression of Range Rover DNA. With clean lines, the minimalist design speaks for itself. The chisel taillights give it a sense of motion, even at standstill. You'll find quality materials and solid craftsmanship at every turn, and you can curate your interior with a variety of distinct themes and trim finishes. It's an elevated drive for elevated lives. Explore the Range Rover Evoque at LandRoverUSA.com. Saving for a lifetime? Investing for the first time? Becoming debt-free? You can do anything you put your money to. Learn how to make your money work harder with money, career, and investing tips in our Women Talk Money community. Plus, get in on free events and candid convos. Join today at fidelity.com slash women talk money. Investing involves risk, including risk of loss. Fidelity Brokerage Services, member NYSE SIPC. Hey parents, Greenlight is here to take one big thing off your to-do list, teaching your kids about money. With a Greenlight debit card and money app of their own, kids and teens learn to earn, save, and invest. You can send money instantly, set flexible controls, and get real-time notifications of your kids' money activity. Set up chores and put allowance on autopilot to reward them for their hard work. Then, learn about the world of money together. Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast. We wear our work. Day by day, stitch by stitch. At Dickies, we believe work is what we're made of. So, whether you're gearing up for a new project or looking to add some tried and true workwear to your collection, remember that Dickies has been standing the test of time for a reason. Their workwear isn't just about looking good. It's about performing under pressure and lasting through the toughest jobs. Head over to Dickies.com and use the promo code WORKWEAR20 at checkout to save 20% on your purchase. It's the perfect time to experience the quality and reliability that has made Dickies a trusted name for over a century. If you're a facilities manager at a warehouse and your HVAC system goes down, it can turn up the heat, literally. But don't sweat it, Granger has you covered. Granger offers over a million industrial grade products for all your operations, including warehouse HVAC maintenance. And even better, they offer access to experts and fast delivery, so you and your warehouse can both keep your cool. Call 1 800 Granger, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done.